Dick! <laughs> Yesterday, I asked if anyone needed help understanding game mechanics, and a bunch of people inquired about charging. What's more, I asked people to tell me if anything in my bread and butter combo videos no longer worked, and like 20 people have written in saying combos into Nikali's dash punch or Bison scissor kick no longer work because you can't get charge in time. Well, I tested them all and you can, it's just a matter of efficient charging, or more directly, charging as soon as possible. As a case in point, here's the Nikali combo fierce into medium stomp, low strong into light dash punch. The trick is, you have to start charging as soon as you input the stomp. Here's the frame I started charging in that previous combo. Note how early it is. It's also important to charge while midair. Here's a bread and butter bison punish when jumping over a fireball. Again, here's the frame where I started charging. Note where bison is. Just as a proof of concept, I've got some combos here that inherently grant charge time. I'll start by just standing so you know I have no charge, then I'll combo into charge moves. Fung's two hit moves give him lots of time to charge. Even after this cross up, I can cancel immediately into a sonic boom motion. In the Chunli BNB video, like 10 people have asked me how I did stand strong, low forward into medium spinning bird, even though I already answered it in the comments many times and in the paste bin I linked. So let's please put this to rest. For Chunli, not only do you have to start charging as soon as you hit stand strong, but you also need to cancel the crouching medium kick slightly late in order to maximize your charge time. A good option select is to charge then end in a quarter circle forward to up forward motion into medium kick as shown here. This overlaps the motion of lightning legs and spinning bird. If you don't get enough charge, you get a cancel into medium lightning legs. If you get enough, both special moves are input correctly, but Spinning Bird takes priority. If you overcharge and cancel too late, you still get a blocked Spinning Bird though, so err on the side of undercharging. Finally, Charge Partitioning means breaking a charge into pieces and enables you to do things like Charge Parry Charge Move or Charge Dash Charge Move. To the best of my knowledge, it's only present in Street Fighter 3, so stop asking about it. That's it for now. Remember to like and subscribe.